hi very good morning to all of you this is showbiz so guys today i'm talk about the environment variables and in the dotnet core application we will create some environment variable and we will use the same environment variable in our code right so let's get started so uh, so before going to before creating the environment variable i just want to you know uh, showcase to you what i'll create i'll create a class and this class will contain a first name or maybe age and uh, i will specify the value from the environment variable and uh, i will configure in this in the startup.cs file and uh, with the help of i options right i will access this environment variable so let's get started so the very first thing for creating environment variable i just need to open the the properties of this project and here we have environment variable so what i'll do i'll create environment variable person person is a class right person is a class and i just putting over here a double underscore and over here the name of the properties so i'm saying the name is show with valia okay another variable which i want is which is again inside the person class and now at this time would be age right so i say this is 20 whatever you want right so this is fine i just created it so everything is fine as of now right so whatever you have created it will reflect over here in the launch setting.json file right so in the launch setting.json file you will see we have a person name is there right i'm not sure why age is not coming so let me figure it out quickly i think it might not saved yeah might not saved uh, i think it's saved already just verify it remove it need to save it yeah this person age is there and the person name is there so it's a little bit up and down so it okay that's good as of now right so what i want right now is i need a class so for that purpose i'll create a class so the name of the class will be the same person.cs and it will contain two property so the property which i want is the name that's fine and another property is the age it would be of the string type okay so far so good so this is the class contain two property right another thing which i want is in the startup.cs file here in the configure services right so we need to configure it right so what i need to do configure dot configure service configure method is there so here what i want i just need to specify the class the person class right and here so take the reference of this code configuration dot get section configuration dot get section person so person is the hierarchical the first level value attributes so here the, this is person and here this is the person so because of that it will map right so it's hierarchical same configure is everything is fine so i want to call this in my weather forecast controller right so the same way i what i'll do i'll create with the help of dependency injection i'll i'll pass an i option option is there inside the i option i just need to specify the class so it will ask for the using statement you just need to put the using statement over here and just son and the person is there right and generate so it will generate now dependency is done and the value will come inside the person right so what i'll do i'll just remove this code and over here in the console dot right line the person dot value dot the name i'll go with the name and the same way i want to go with the age also and uh, since it is asking for something so what i'll do i'll just say return null put a breakpoint over here 
and now I'll just executing it. So since I need to call this endpoint, here you will see we have the name and we have the age, right? So what I have done is so far here in the launch settings, I am passing the name, the variable name inside the environment variable and here we are passing this this is a person age and the person name right so I will do some tweak over here also so instead of creating this hierarchy what I will do I will just change it little bit so I am just writing in a different way show width and the age Right, I am saying I am 40, 50 year, right? although I am not 50, but still. So here you will see something, you know, value must be of the string time, it's okay, since it's a warning. So what I will do, just execute it, here you will see, value is not reflecting, it is asking, it is coming. Uh, the value is coming previously. I'm not sure why. Let me quickly check it. Why it is happening? So, so this is person name age. Everything is fine. And uh, okay. Let me quickly check over here. I just need to remove this value. This value is overriding. I think so. this is coming null and even this is coming as zero so it will not reading my values right so let me quickly check it what why it is doing so okay it's basically when I do this changes from this file from the project setting so it removed my changes I'll do once again so person is there instead of creating two I just want to put one over here right now name is equal to I mean Valia right just again value is not null value is null right okay so I did a mistake over here instead of instead of passing this hierarchical value over here what I can do is instead of passing over here I can specify the same thing in the application JSON file right so I'll do here name show bit yeah now it will pick I will specify the age also. Now the age I will specify is 60. So it is asking from the it is giving me an error. Let me quickly figure out what is the error. Yeah, duplicate value is there. I think because of that, it is giving me an error. So let me restart it again. Here we have show bit and here we have a value of 60, right? So we are accessing the variable by the two ways. The first one is the launch setting file. Here we can specify the environment variables and the class would be come under 
uh, the variable name should be as per the uh, as per the um, naming conventions of the environment variable so if you want to go for the hierarchy then you just need to specify the two underscore and uh, the same way you can specify app setting over here in the app setting dot json file here you just need to go for the hierarchy as per the json right so this is the very first thing you can do you can either choose the app setting dot json or the launch setting dot json or uh, whatever right and uh, the only thing you need to configure is in the start dot cs file you just need to specify that uh, which section you want to access so i specify the same name in the person class which i want so the name is same so if i want to change anything from here so if i say this is p1 right so what i need to do is instead of person i just need to specify the p1 over here right and uh, the same way here in the in p1 underscore underscore the name something like that right and the another thing is inside the controller where you want to access so here inside the, the constructor you just need to specify the dependency make sure the dependency would come under the i option and the person should be the class and uh, once you have that you can access these variables so i think this uh, environment variable topic would be clear for you if you have any question concern anything right so you can directly call me on my email id or maybe you can whatsapp me on my number yeah that's all from my side thanks